Okay, what's going on, guys? Uh, ebook dudes, we are on number six of seven components that influence the appearance of the glove side. Number six is placement of hands when hand separated, or the location of, of where you separate your hands. This is just going to influence the the appearance of the glove side very little. Um, basically, it's a timing mechanism. So two guys, uh, both similar angles here. Six O Sanchez on the left, G Lucas Giolito on the right. Um, real quick, don't have to spend too much time on this, but just uh, hand separation is when the the throwing hand separates from the glove and you take the ball out, essentially. There's a lot of guys that, that believe in, in timing, so they, they separate their hands relatively early before even entering you know the dry phase, whereas some will separate intentionally late to influence the arm to speed up, all right? So this is just gonna showcase the influence on the glove side appearance. So 60 Sanchez here started his hands high. Now, as he goes into his separation, he's gonna coil. We talked about this kind of trunk counter rotation move earlier in this ebook. Um, this is gonna then influence his hand separation occurring behind his body, right? So you're, you're, you're shielding the, the hitter from seeing any white, any, any ball. All right, so now this is a relatively early handbrake, as you see descending from peak leg lift. That's usually when I would say it happens. But now he has all this timing here, which is gonna influence his glove hand. If you're gonna separate down at your rear hip, your glove is probably gonna go low, all right? You're gonna go low. Think about like a Max Scherzer too, right? Separates at that rear hip. It goes low. That doesn't necessarily mean since it goes low that we're gonna throw submarine because we talked about it in the plane of rotation. But now as we get him going up, boom, that's our shoulder level here. And then he's gonna rotate into shoulder plane of rotation. So early hand separation, you can obviously see it here, is gonna aid in that trunk counter rotation movement. Give him a lot of time. He's gonna get extremely rotational now. And then boom. All right, so then we position ourselves accordingly. That's his timing mechanism as we see him very well segmented at full anchor point with the hand ready to rock. So now Giolito obviously being different in terms of his hand path, he's going to get his body going. Um, there's a lot of guys, there's a, there's another theory in terms of like the size you are and how big your levers are, not needing as much time. There's an old old school notion that bigger guys needed more time with their arms because they were longer lever levered. So they would separate what within this, what uh, people would call like a circle. You'd separate your hands in this circle. I don't personally believe in that. I do think it helps a lot of individuals, especially at the youth level, because the game typically speeds up at a rate that is drastically different than what they practice in. So Giolito, I know this isn't the side angle, but you can see that he's gonna separate his hands right here, which is you know not even just, probably just starting out into his drive phase which is gonna influence his front side due to you know him already, his body accelerating so rapidly during his dry phase that he doesn't necessarily have time to get into a, like a full glove arm extension. He's actually gonna separate at his midline as well, which is then gonna, you know, his, his glove arm's not gonna go down, it's not gonna go up, it's gonna probably stay even keel. He also separates in glove side flexion. I talked about this in one of the videos in the ebook in regards to how this could improve someone's direction. It can also improve someone's arm action efficiency, but this is only due, um, this only works for guys, in my opinion, that get going and have a, actually a shorter stride. Giolito is someone that you know you can see has somewhat of a shorter stride um, getting down into his anchor point relatively early because if he didn't, then this this glove side flexion would actually probably start to cause some early trunk rotation issues which would then break down his ability to segment which would then lead into um a little pushiness pushiness with the arm action okay so uh both guys go about it differently um separate in the midline separate back rear hip glove side goes low Glove side stays neutral with flexion, but both of them accomplish the task of keeping that trunk neutral. Boom. All right. So that is component number six of uh, location of hand separation and how that can influence the
appearance of the glove side. For guys that just watch this on YouTube, think about purchasing that ebook. No idea when it'll be available. <laughs> TheRobbyRoshow.com slash ebooks. All right. Until next time. See ya.